All right, so here we have a 2006 Honda Ridgeline. Uh, what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be replacing the inner CV boot. So we have like probably a leak somewhere in the clamp here or, or something going on, but you can see all of the grease has expelled itself all around. So we'll go ahead and start by taking the axle out by removing the axle nut here at the spindle and the brake. Uh, this is a 36 millimeter socket. All right, so here we're going to remove the lower ball joint. So first we have to take our retaining clip off. And we have a 19 millimeter. All right, so you just want to give a tap right here to kind of give it a shock to loosen it up. See if we released. All right, there we go. There's a couple different ways you can move stuff around here. One would be, you know, if we just hung on this control arm, uh, we will be able to, we would be able to unseat the ball joint uh, and lift this forward. That does take a lot of energy to do this. Um, so what we're going to do is, since it doesn't matter for the alignment, we're going to remove our upper knuckle and kind of loosen our whole piece up here. Uh, by doing that, we're also going to need to hang it so it doesn't pull on our brake lines and our, and our anti-lock, um, you know, our wheel speed sensor wire and stuff like that. So we'll go ahead and, and remove this. So I have a, a 15 16 socket. All right, so we're gonna, we need to push the, the axle, the splines this way. I don't really wanna hit on that, so I have a punch that fits in that hole right there. All right, so we'll just go ahead and Okay, so we need to pop the the joint out, so I'm just kind of finding a place to pry it without hitting me in the head. That didn't work. All right, so you can see the, the spline has that little snap ring right on the end. That's what we were just fighting. So what I did is I snuck in a punch that I could get onto this piece to knock it. So you can see there's our splines on the inside. 
All right, so here we have our two clamps. We'll go ahead and remove our clamp here. All right, so here we have a snap ring. We'll go ahead and these are kind of opposite. This tool I'm using is not the not the correct one. All right, so once we have that off, we can slip this. I'm going to put it face down. All right. Now we'll go ahead and beat our other clamp off. All right. All right, and so we're just doing a we're just doing our inspection of these clean up, cleaning these parts up. Make sure that we don't have any cracks or the bearings are spinning good. All right, so here we have our new CV boot provided to us by Auto Parts Direct to you. So we have a new bag of grease. You can see how that grease was very uh, solidified, very wet. This one here is thicker. We have our new C clamp or snap ring, and then we have. So, if we wanted to replace the other ones. Uh, the one that was up on the up above where it receives a little short uh, half stub, you know, we could replace those. We're, we're going to leave the one that's on there originally. All right, so here we want to put our we want to put our clamp and our boot on. Go ahead and get it to our spot, which is going to be right there. All right, we'll go ahead and slip our piece on. There is an indent on one side and flat on the other. So the indent is going to ride on this lip here. So we'll go ahead and put that on. Put our new piece on. I'm going to push it back a little bit. There we go. So I'll just go ahead and put some grease around each one of these. Go ahead and squeeze the rest of the grease into here. All right, so we'll do the small one first. So we just need to, I use the screwdriver just to hold the tab in place so I can pull. All right, so we can get as tight as we can and then flip it backwards. All right, so once we have it backwards, we just need to go ahead and Fold those tabs over. All right, we'll do the same for this one. All 
All right, so we just wanna cut our excess off there. So we want to slide our spline back on. All right, so we're running that. Now we have that clip we need to overcome. Okay, slip this in while we're down here. So we're gonna line our axle up. Yeah, so we'll go ahead and Get our axle nut in. Go ahead and put our lower ball joint nut back on. All right, so the thread did kind of line back up to our spot. What we want to do is we want to dimple this in as like a, a locking nut. All right, all right, so we're ready to put the tire on and take it for a test drive.